I'm Richard Fox, I'm co-chair of the Friends of Wands with Common. This is my wife Julia, who's the other co-chair, and we're very pleased to be joined this afternoon by Annabel Osborne, the Parks Biodiversity Officer for Enable Leisure and Culture, who covers the whole of um, Wands with Green Spaces. This tree, this black poplar, and its neighbour over there were standing in a, a lake, basically, for several months at the end of last year due to the amount of rain we had. Blew over, and the reason we're here is because it's a very good example of one of the downsides of climate change. We aim to make our habitats more resilient to climate change. So the principles that we follow to do that are to make them firstly bigger, make all the habitats as large as we can for the space that we're given, improve their quality, and something that we're doing in conjunction with the Friends of Ones with Common is to create some mini forests. So not only are we planting trees as part of that, but we're also looking to plant an understory layer where we've got small herbs, we've got grasses growing up, we've also then got shrubs and taller plants, and then we have the tree layer. And the final principle is trying to make those habitats more joined up. So up in the north of the common, we've got a small area with a playground, and it's totally encompassed by roads. So we're going to be planting some native hedging, and the purpose of that is not only going to screen that area from pollution particles from the vehicles, but again, it will act as another form of habitat connectivity. An area over to my right here is one of the big lakes that we have on Wandsworth Common. And the problem is the water level changes. Something Enable did a few years ago is creating an amphibian pond. So we dug out a large area to the north of the pond, which in winter absorbs some of the overfill water. Um, and then throughout the season, as it gets warmer, it then slowly dries out. Um, and that's known as an ephemeral pond. And it's fantastic habitat for amphibians. Improving and maintaining a diverse mosaic of different habitats really is the key to making the common and all of our open spaces more resilient to 